Now let's see what happens if uh, we put we put the arm in uh, halfway between supination and pronation. Now we have the bone here again, right here, coming down like this. So I didn't put this uh, detail of the bone in in the book. So you know, I have to give you something new, guys. Right? You pay good money for this. This right? is the humerus, and this is the distal um, extremity of the humerus. Now the ulna is going to be always like that, right? More or less. That's fixed. See how fixed this is. How fixed this is. Right? This is the ulna. Look what it does. This it's like a it's like a mechanical. You can like a ratchet tool. See that? It doesn't do anything else other than flexion and extension. So this angle. See this angle in here? It's always re going to remain the same. It's not going to move much this way. Right? See how the radius instead can rotate because it's joint. Can rotate around the forearm around the ulna. Sorry, that's why we build radius. We now. do this now. We have the Ulna, I put it down the same way I put it here, always, right? But now the radius will start from here and move, rotates this way, right? And goes here now. Now this, this time, the ulna and radius are overlapping, all right? Here. So my hand now is going to be positioned like this. So let's see what happens if we right here if we when we put the 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 muscles over here right very likely drawing right again we don't draw you don't want to draw everything the same way you're going to use different approaches to drawing depending on uh, what it is that you're trying to to do if in this case i'm trying to take the measurement it's going to be oh, just about the measurement it's not going to be about the beautiful mark uh, the beautiful sign that I'm going to see at the end. I'm not going to see any of this at the end when I'm done because it's going to be covered by other marks. So now here I have um, the volume of the deltoid, the volume of the upper arm, the volume of the forearm, and the 2 by 4 that now is going to be seen in this thinner. Uh, here I have this form in here, this this volume in here that goes to the the, the end of the radius will still go to the end of the radius so we will do this right here so uh from here i have to go here now right so i want to create a little bit of the volume right of this muscle in here and now the muscle the muscle will go across diagonally across the the width of the forearm see that ten muscle and and, uh, and tendon Let's color it like we did before, so we maintain it, um, maintain uh, the, the 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 color the color coding, right? Now it's going across, but something new happens now, and something new is that now I see all three muscle groups because now as this moves across like this here, guess what? I'm going to have the extensors. This muscle in here are going to the top of the hand. So these are going to be the extensors here, and let's color them uh, orange. Okay. And here I'm going to add flexors. Make sense? So in this case I see all three groups of muscles. Going down like this, etc. So now on this side in here I see the um, volume of the flexors coming down like this, partially covered by this muscle in here because it's overlapping a little bit, going down to the palm, the palm of the hand, right? So these are going to be now the flexors, and this is the color I'm gonna use for the flexors. Right? So you see how, of course, these are many more muscles that, that I'm showing because there's quite a few muscles in here. This is not just one, it's actually at this point I would see two muscles that we, we're gonna see we're gonna see later on and, and next week. And this in here, just a superficial or four muscles. So um, it's a big bunch of muscle, but I'm concerned now not with all the muscle, I'm concerned to see how the forms are changing and developing. So in here I could 
kind of show a little bit the line of section here, right? To see the specific um, the specific volume. So now let's see this, the final step.